Welcome to creating markups via web. In this video, you'll learn how to create markups on a sheet using the markup toolbar on the web platform. You've learned how to find, access, and navigate through sheets, so now it's time to communicate with our project team through markups. First, we need to be aware that what we learn in this section about markups applies to markups on documents uploaded to files as well. But this lesson specifically focuses on sheets. We can use markups to communicate project needs and notes on sheets. For example, we can share incorrect room dimensions, or we can tell the project team that the layout of a room is changing, even if it hasn't yet been changed on the designer's plans. Before we dive into markups, note the following markup specific considerations. We can create private and public markups. By default, markups are private. Any member in the project can create markups, and those private markups are only visible to their creator. Members with create permissions may publish markups, but can only edit their own published markups. Members with edit and manage permissions can publish, edit, and delete any published markups. Okay, let's dive in. Once we've identified a sheet we'd like to mark up, we'll open the sheet viewer. Let's begin with a quick review of the tools in the markup toolbar. It's broken up into four sections. First, we have the select tool, which will allow us to disengage any other tool we've selected. Second, we have the standard markup tools, which include the draw tools, pen and highlighter for freehand drawing or highlighting, basic shapes tools for the ability to point to or eliminate areas, text box tool for general notes, cloud tool to designate changes, and the callout tool to make notes about a specific area. Then we have the feature markup tools. Issues tracks items like punch list or safety issues on site. Photos visually documents construction progress or material installation. And measurements to be used for quick field takeoffs. Finally, we have the color settings for border colors and fill colors. Ideally, we'll leverage these color settings when standardizing the use of markups across our project or company. To mark up a sheet, we recommend first zooming into the area we'll be adding markups to. We'll select a tool from the toolbar and start with standard markups. Feature markups have their own courses and lessons, except for the measurement tool, which we'll cover here as well. We'll select the markup we want to use and click and drag to draw out the shape. We'll adjust the grab handles here to control the size and layout of the markup. Once the markup is drawn, we'll click elsewhere on the sheet to complete the markup. Text or callout tools will require text to be input, and we can edit font size as needed. Now, to use the measurement tool, we must first calibrate the sheet. In order to set the calibration, we'll select the ruler here, then the caliper, the only option we're able to select, and click and drag from one point to another on a given dimension. Once we've drawn out our line, the calibrate dialog appears here. We'll set size, select the appropriate units, and decide on precision. Once we've input all required fields, we'll select Create and Publish to officially calibrate the sheet. This calibration is now set for all users. Remember that our permission level for markups will determine what we can do here. The lowest permission tier can calibrate, but that calibration only applies to personal markups. If we have create permission or above, we can publish a calibration on the sheet, which will override others' personal calibrations. 
Now that the calibration is set, we can select the ruler again, and we'll be able to use the linear, freeform, and area tools for any measurements we need on that sheet. If we select a linear measurement, we can quickly measure the length of this wall. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to edit markups we've created. In this video, you learned how to create markups on a sheet using the markup toolbar on the web platform.